Do what must be done. Do not hesitate. Shouldn't have Star Wars The Acolyte has been cancelled, and there are people in this fandom that want me dead. It is a time of great pain and suffering for fans of Disney Star Wars. Now for the fans of real Star Wars, we're having a blast watching all you miserable fucks have Star Wars meltdowns every day. Season 1 of The Acolyte cost $180 million. It was a massive failure. No one watched. The fake fans refused to accept that. They can't face the reality that it wasn't destroyed by the alt-right bigots. Leslie Headland just doesn't know Star Wars. Her bitchin' was ass. Ruining the Sith, changing birthdays, fan service cameos, some bullshit story about witches, and a ridiculous, poorly executed ship. But despite all that, the Disney shills want more. I thought it over. There has to be a way to grift off this. I am an alt-right racist sexist bigot grifter, but I believe I have the skills necessary to satisfy both sides of the fandom. That's why I, Darth Melvin, leader of the Knights of Melvin, am going to bring you The Acolyte Season 2, right here on the Knights of Melvin YouTube channel. Now you might be saying, Darth Melvin, you're a fucking idiot! How the fuck can you release the Acolyte on your channel? You don't have $180 million or the rights to do the show! Those are some good points. I don't need any money to make the show. The production will cost me zero dollars. It won't be live action, but in animated form. It will look a lot like the show I created in 2023, The Ryan Johnson Show. An eight-episode series centered around Ryan Johnson pursuing his Star Wars trilogy. Oh, Misa, Misa, Jaja Abrams. Oh, what are you doing, Ryan Johnson? Are you watching The Rise of Skywalker? I promise to never watch that movie again. You completely shit on my cinematic masterpiece. Oh, Disney told me you make bad movie. They pay me big money to fuck your movie's asshole with retcons. Yeah, and that very same company is going to make up for it by giving me a trilogy. Oh, Misa Misa! Hey, are you still mad I lick Brie Lesson Snatch all night long? All night long? No. No, I'm not mad. I was just using her. It was just a one-time thing. Misa would hang myself if I had to see that bitch every day. I'd rather stick my head in a toilet than sleep with her again. You may think the animation isn't good. I understand. But I'm not an animator, and I do the best that I can. The story and voice acting will be where it's at. I can't fix the Acolyte. I can't fix Disney Star Wars. But I can deliver a satisfactory conclusion to the show that most importantly honors Leslie Headland's vision while entertaining the people that hated Season 1. Who knows, the Acolyte lovers might even like my Season 2 better. There will be a total of three episodes, about 10 minutes each at least. And the release will probably not be until 2025. Maybe I'll release it around Star Wars Celebration 2025 or the real Star Wars Celebration 2025. As for not having the rights to the show, Disney can suck my balls. So get ready now, the return of Plagueis, the return of Oshamir, the return of the Acolyte Season 2, coming to the Knights of Melvin YouTube channel. Make sure to become a Knight subscribe to the channel, join the Knights of Melvin Discord, help plot to take down Disney and all their shills. At last we will reveal ourselves to the shows. At last we will have revenge. is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. <laughs>